Hey, it's Mr. Waffle Bucket, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we got started to the first two shines and fought a boss, the same exact boss, three times in a row. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing uh, Bianco Hills, getting a few more shines. So let's get started. I really should have eaten something before recording. I'm so hungry right now. Alright, so episode two of Bianca Hills is another boss. But don't worry, it's not the same one. It's actually original this time. Down with PD Piranha. You know, PD Piranha has kind of become um, famous after this game. Which I kind of like, because he's probably one of my favorite bosses in any Mario game. And I only got one coin. That was pathetic. You know, the funny thing about this, uh, this episode, uh, you may have noticed that the boss was standing on top of there, uh, on top of that windmill up there. Um, he's actually there in the first episode, and you can't actually fight him. And I haven't actually seen, but I guess there's some guy up there that is like, Hey, aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Can you get that far? And I love how it's telling you to use a hover nozzle to cross that gap, like, as if that wasn't obvious. So we just go up here, and I don't know if these things are actually bushes, but they look like giant slabs of marble. And if you spray those things, you'll actually notice that they're, uh, like, decapitated prana head, prana plant heads. Um, I don't know, I just, that's what they are. Nothing special about them, I'm just saying. Um, if you go through one of these, uh, water things, they fill up the water. Alright, just go up here. Here. Last trick, or that last jump is kind of tricky. And this red M will be covering that later. It gives you a blue coin. Um, I think I'll be covering the blue coins in, uh, not separate videos, but... I will be getting all the blue coins at once, so we're not going to be getting any of them as we're playing, except by accident. So now we just ride this windmill up there. Look, the shine sprite is floating over his head. And just hover over there. And that makes us fall to our death. I mean, into the windmill. Dying in a party game, that's funny. Oh dear. Alright, so if you get closer than him, he'll do that stupid attack where he, like, swings his head. But basically, what you have to do is, um, wait for him to open his mouth like that and quickly squirt into his mouth. To make his stomach all full of water. Um, if you don't squirt quick enough, he'll, like, throw up that chocolatey stuff. It's kind of odd. One. Why did I just say number one? This is number two. I don't know. I don't even know half the things I say on the morning. And as you would guess, we have the third one and then we're done. Because like I said in the last episode, 3 is like Nintendo's lucky number. Oh, pfft. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, this boss is quite easy. As should be expected. I mean, dang it, come on! There we go! And now he's going to melt into chocolate. Chocolate that's going to sizzle away. Kind of weird. Why was that plant made of chocolate? <laughs> Come on, there we go. Shine number three. Wow. 
By the way, I know a lot of Let's Players, like, don't save when they're recording. I'm going to, because my copy of this game is really old, and it's possible that I might get a disc read error a lot in this LP. Uh, there, that should look familiar. It's the fourth time we're going to be seeing that boss, but we're not going to be seeing it right now because we have to finish up Beyond the Hills. So let's just go back in. This next episode is going to be one of many uh, kinds of shines that you'll be seeing in this game. It's a secret. I don't know why it's called a secret. But as you would expect, we have to go into that hillside cave to find the secrets. I hope it's an awesome secret. I hope it's like pirate treasure. It's not pirate treasure. I've played this game before. You know, as you should expect. Um. Well, don't hurt yourself there, Mario. Uh, what we have to do, I actually always forget how to get over here. Not like that, apparently. Uh, here I can, I'm going to show you a new move. This is the spin jump. If you spin and then, um, press A. Or I think if you jump and then spin, yeah, you can jump and then spin, but, um. Uh, that's a fairly useful move. Except it apparently didn't get us high enough to get into that cave. And I just got a notification that free-to-play games are now on Steam. Woo. Actually, I already knew they were. Unfortunately, it's like all but one are MMOs. Not really a huge fan of MMOs. Okay, let's see if we can hover over there. Oh, screw you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. How do you get up there? Uh, um, I should explain that wall jump, too. Um, you can, like, slide on the... Well, of course, there didn't do it. You can, like, slide on the wall and then jump off. How do you get up there? I should know this. I've played this game enough. Uh, I've already wasted two minutes. Well, no, more like three minutes just trying to freaking get up there. No, don't. Stop it, Mario! Work with me! Nice. No! Alright, let's see if we can freaking hover over there again. Come on, you can make it, Mario, you can make it. Oh god! Oh my freaking Jesus! Uh... You know what, I'm just going to cut until I can actually, like, get over there, so... See you whenever that happens. Oh wow, I am really stupid. Okay. Wow. Wow, just... Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is how you're supposed to go over there. Right, I'm stupid. Oh, this is going to be a fun LP. I can just, I can just tell. Right here, here. Secret. I finally got in the stupid cave. What's going to happen? Shadow Mario comes and takes a flood because he sucks like that. So you have to do this level floodless, and you're in some kind of weird space area. We're in Mario Galaxy. No, no, we're not. Um. And then you get this really weird version of the Mario themes <coughs> of the Mario theme song. If there's one thing I love about this game, it's the music. All right, this is great. Why am I doing this? This is my first console LP. This is a terrible idea. Alright, just 
Take it slow, Mario. Slow. Ah! 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 Oh my god, I grabbed on. Oh, jeez. That's really the hardest part of this one, is just that one stupid area. And... And... Ah! Come on, I can't do this. I only have, like, one life left. If I'm seriously going to get a game over on the fourth shine of the game, I should be ashamed of myself. It would be easier if he didn't, like, gain so much momentum when he's running. Alright. We can do this. Take it slow. Alright, good. And, uh, these levels, I think most of them have, like, two one-ups. And why can't I do a double jump? Come on, I just want the one-up. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Get the one-up. Thank you. Alright. No! Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. Can't wait to see how that sounds. <sighs> Alright. And, believe it or not, we have to do that again. So instead of wasting another, like, five minutes getting there, I'm just going to cut to, uh, getting the actual secret, because... You already know how to get there. Alright, so here we are at the same exact level again, except you'll notice this time we have our flood and it grew um, some acne. Alright, anyway, what this does, it uh, gives us, well, yeah, here it says, collect eight red coins before the timer runs out. Um, every secret mission has this and um, I think every area of the game has one outside of the secret missions, so there's a lot of collecting in this game. And these should be really fun, because I, um, haven't really practiced them. One in particular, like, really far in the last level of game is just... Ugh. It's horrible. Go. Six. Seven. And, of course, the other one is on the other side of the, uh, area. Oh god, I hope the flood can reach it. Oh god, oh god, oh my god. Ah! Ah! God, this is like portal all over again. Dying on the easiest parts. I love this frantic music when you have a time limit, though. Okay, this is really creepy. I have uh, my door, like, cracked open, and my window's open. It's like the door keeps opening by itself. Like it's possessed or something. God, did they make these platforms far enough out? Oh, jeez! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, my freaking god, are you serious? Ah! Uh, how can it be the second episode and I'm already having this many failures? I'm gonna get it this time. I can feel it. I can feel it. Feel it. Right! Red coin number eight! And the shine sprite is all the way over there. So as long as I don't do anything stupid on the way, I should be fine. No! No! Oh my god, are you kidding me?
Or you know what? I'm going to be optimistic. Maybe this much failure this early in the LP means the rest of it is going to be smooth sailing. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Right? Right? God, I hope so. Alright! Got the Shine Sprite! Finally! Ah! Uh, huh. Alright guys, next episode of Super Mario Sunshine. Hopefully I won't suck it up as bad. <sighs> well, see you then.